Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of Java 2D Game Engine Development. I believe this is episode 11 now. Um, today we're going to be working on the uh, walking animation. That's right, you heard me, finally. It's here. Um, so last episode, let's just run, run through what we got. Uh, let's just run it in debug mode. And, yeah, save resources. I guess this didn't save. Um, so once it launches, we did the entities last episode, and we got the player walking around on the screen, as you will see from here, right there. So we have a player walking around here. There we go. There's our little player, a nice little guy, and he walks around on this board. Uh, again, bounds aren't really set right now. We didn't bother doing collision detection. Uh, we'll we'll get to that next episode. But this episode, we're gonna make him actually look like he's walking, because he kind of just looks like he's hovering right now. You'll see that I'm running at crappy FPS, but that's just because we have our rate limiter still on, plus I'm recording right now, so it's kind of a little intensive. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's just open up uh, Photoshop here and get our sprite sheet. So this is our sprite sheet that we have. We have uh, some textures up here. We have a void texture, a stone texture, and a grass texture. And then we have our player down here, as well as a bunch of letters. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create some more players here. Uh, I'm pr probably not going to time lapse this one just for time constraints because I'm a little rushed with this episode. But uh, what we're going to do is these first two ones, because of how I'm going to set the algorithm up, these are going to be the back of his head. So this essentially, we, we already have this one, uh, a forward walking player. We can essentially just copy this guy over, move him over to or this many squares over here, and then, oops. And then from here, just color his face in and stuff like that. So we'll do that, and I will come back. And then uh, we're also going to have a sideways one, like him facing one like direction this way. We'll say facing right, and we'll have him just standing still with his body completely straight facing right. So one like in mid stride, one flat. And uh, yeah, so we'll be back in a second once that's all done. Okay, so this is what I decided to do. We have uh, our guy facing backwards here, we have him facing forwards, we have him facing sideways still, and facing mid-stride. They're pretty generic and they're really, really ugly to be honest, but uh, you guys can go and create your own little sprites and make them as fancy as you want. So let's get back into Eclipse now, and uh, let's get this guy to move. So we're going to go into the player class, because that's where all the rendering is going to be done, and uh, we're going to create some new variables here. We're going to have two variables up here. One is going to be called flip top and flip bottom. Uh, flip top is going to be equal to, and then this is where we got to get um, a number between 0 and 1. And this number is going to be this little, it's going to be part of this, and we're also going to have to change the offset on where he is, because this tile will move back and forth, and I'll show you that in a minute. So what we got to do here is we got to say num steps, because we're already, we're already recording that up in the moving function. Uh, so we're going to say num steps, and I'm actually going to change, I'm going to make a variable here for... Um, uh, walking speed, and I'm gonna just set it to four. Uh, this number you can increase or decrease depending on whatever you want. Um, however, we need to. Oops, that's the wrong way. Shift it that way, and that walking speed. Uh, this isn't actually changing the speed of him; just the display walking speed, I guess, would be a better better term for this. Um, and then we're going to end it by 1, just to get a number between 0 and 1. So what this is going to do is, it, is it's going to divide it by 2 to the 4. Um, it's going to divide numsteads by 2 to the 4, and then end it by 1. So we're going to get a number between 0 and 1, depending on whether or not it's valid. Um, we're going to do the same thing for flip bottom. And you can just directly copy this, because it's exactly the same. Um, except that shouldn't be there. So there's that. Next what we're going to do is we're going to distinguish the direction that he's moving. So first off, if we're moving down, so this this one's going to be moving up. This is zero. This is default, okay? Now this is going to be down, so that's going to be one. So we need to we need to use that tile. So we're going to say if moving uh, if moving dir is equal to one, then what we're going to do here is we're going to say um, x tile plus equals to two. Just because we want to move over, we want to move from this one over to this this tile here. So we're gonna we're gonna just kind of shift everything over too. So now what we want to do is we want to counter the east and the west. So we're gonna say else if moving uh, dir is greater than one, because now it's gonna be either a two or three. Then what we're gonna do here is we are going to change the flip top and 
Actually, first let's move the X tile, because we want to get the X tile over to these ones if we're doing that. So let's move that over first. So we're going to say X tile plus equals to 4, because that's going to that's gonna default the, the 0 over here. So instead of this being our, our regular one, it's going to go over to this tile here. So that's kind of like the benchmark. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to plus the same variable up here, kind of. So this is going to add some depending on where we are. So we're going to say, we could do a different if and just say, if moving direction is equal to 2, then x tile is this, or if moving direction is equal to 3, then x tile is this. But we don't want to do that. We just want to make it, we just want to get that number here. So what we're going to say is we're going to say num steps, uh, and then bit shifted walking speed again, and then we're going to, hold on, this needs to be in double brackets here. We're going to and one eight again. And then we're going to times two. What this is going to do is, oops, end. Uh, this is going to give us a number between zero and one here. And then if it's a zero, it's going to give us a zero. And if it's a one, it's going to give us two. So that's essentially all that's really doing, depending on where we are. Next, what we need to do is we need to change the uh, flip top variable based on where we are, because if we're facing east and west, we would want to be using these respectively. So we're going to have to change this variable to say when we're flipping and when we're not, because we don't really want to flip. Um, flip the top too much because that's only depending on if we're left and right. So we're going to say flip top is equal to uh, moving dir. Then we're going to minus one to get a number between negative one and two. However, this number isn't actually going to be between negative one because we're only going above one. So it's technically just going to be a number between zero and one. Uh, and then we're just going to percent two just to be safe. So this number will be, in fact, between 0 and 1. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to render, we're going to go into the render function here, and we're going to change this top here to flip top, and this one here to flip top, this one here to flip bottom, and this one here, flip bottom. Now, this isn't going to work, and I'll show you why in a second. I'm going to run it right now, and you will understand, and it's going to kind of look a little wonky, as his parts, his body parts are going to be kind of flying everywhere because we haven't really changed the offsets at all. Not, that's the issue right now. So what you're going to see when it loads is... Okay, so we see some blank squares. And you'll see these squares are walking around. And these squares should not be walking around. Um, did I save? No, I didn't save. That's probably why. That's part of it. Let's just, <laughs> let's just uh, refresh this workspace here. Okay, let's run it again. Oh, the, the uh, small little things like that. And there we go. So that's what we want to see. So we see our guy again. And if I start walking, you see that he's going to split in half. Okay? So what that means, like, this is because we're, we're flipping the variables here. We're flipping the sides on, like, we're flipping this, this half and this half. But we're not positioning them correctly. This one will then need to go over on this side, and this one will need to go there. So we need to do that. And same with the left and right. See, the head kind of looks fine, but the, the body changes back and forth. And something that I didn't mes mention last episode that I probably should have, and I didn't think about this till now. Um, when you're designing your sprites, you may notice that it'll, it'll start to look weird on the, the game that we just did. If, for say, you have like a head up here, and then you start his body here. Because then his body is going to start flipping around, and you that's, that's just going to look really strange. So when you design him, try to keep his head in the top box and his body in the lower box. It's okay if there's little things that cross across, that go across, like you'll see over here his arm and stuff like that, but make sure that it looks fine to you, because if it doesn't look good to you, then, I don't know, this is your game. You gotta, you gotta do what you want with it. It's for fun. Anyways, so let's position these uh, variables correctly. So what we need to do is we need to take the F X offsets on all these, because as you saw, it was the X offset that was incorrect on them. And uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna plus, and we're gonna say modifier, because that's going to be that, that number, whatever the scale is. Uh, and then we're going to multiply that by flip top. So again, if, if we're not flipping, it, this is just going to add zero. And if we are flipping, it's going to add whatever this is here. And then we're going to do the same down here on the next line down, uh, in, in addition to this plus modifier as well. But instead of a plus, we're going to do a minus, because this time, this is the, the farther pixel. It's going to be this one in this quadrant, the northeast quadrant. So we want to move that to the northwest quadrant. So we're gonna we're gonna minus it instead, uh, and then you're just gonna do the exact same thing for the bottom ones, 
down here, the X offset, and the Y, oops, and down there as well. However, in the bottom, we want to use the bottom again because this has no relevance to the top part. I, I call the variable flip top because that deals with the top part of the body, and flip bottom deals with the bottom part of the body, if you haven't caught on to that already. But, uh, so yeah, so we, we wouldn't want to be using flip flip top down at the flip bottom because that wouldn't make sense. Now let's run the game and uh, see what happens. This should uh, fix everything up and your guy should be walking around and looking looking pretty sexy if I do say so myself. Even though he's not actually really sexy, but whatever. So you'll see here he's walking and you'll see his speed here. So he's walking kind of slow. So he's just kind of do, like, doing like a walk and you'll see the left and right working as well. But uh, let's make him a little faster. Okay, so let's make him go. If we change this down to like a 2, and then we open up our game again, then we start going, you'll see that now he's kind of glitching around. That's just because this is a little too fast for him. He, he looks kind of weird. You'll see that, I don't know, he's just going a little too fast there. Let's change this to a 3 then. Render it out. You'll see now it's a little better. He's kind of, he's still jumping around a little bit, but it's not so bad. Uh, if we change this up to like maybe a, a 6, it'll kind of be like a... A slow, slow walk. You see, he just kind of glides across them. So you can just tweak these numbers and get these numbers to work work best for you, because um, this is again your game. So if this kind of if this suits your style, like he's walking on ice or something like that, then yeah, this is this a six would be perfect here. But for all purpose of an, of our intent, a four looks pretty nice to me. I think this looks this looks all right. And again, the frames down there are lagging it a little bit, but this looks pretty realistic to me. So uh, yeah, that's been this uh, tutorial. Next tutorial we'll do collision detection on him and getting him to stop within the bounds of the box. And uh, we'll probably make the stone a, a void box so you can't walk into stone either. But uh, stay tuned. If you haven't if you haven't checked up on any of the other tutorials, feel free to go back and rewatch them uh, if you're new to the channel and just checking this out. Uh, also feel free to check on my channel. I got a couple other series going on and a couple gaming series as well if you're interested in that. So, uh, yeah, have a good day, guys, and I will see you next week. Uh, sorry this episode was delayed again, but just personal life came up and uh, got in the way of things. So, yeah, take care, guys.